while well, all these ladies are around me. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ray Sasaki, president of the class of 1962, and we're here to present a wonderful and fun program for you. See, now, seniors out there, are you asleep already? <laughs> it's going to time to rev up and get up, okay? You know, it's almost a year to, the, uh, to this day that 50 years ago, in 1962, we had our homecoming in Scudder Hall. And as class president, it was tradition to always greet and welcome the, uh, the honored class. At that time, it was the class of 1912. And as I stood at the podium by the water cooler, I remember looking out at the class, and a 17-year-old thinking to myself, my God, how old they are. <laughs> and now here we are. <laughs> and I'm looking out at the crowd, and I'm saying to myself, my God, how wonderful you all are. <laughs> Okay, here we go now. Let us take you down Mary's Lane just a bit as our class presents a reminiscent view and a takeoff of hairspray that we call Hair View. Ha, ha, ha. 
tell you what, my boyfriend's back and you're gonna be in trouble. Hey, la, hey, la, my boyfriend's back. You see him coming, better cut out on the double. Hey, la, hey, la, hey, la, hey, la, hey, la. Last night in 1960, we return to Sopko. A bit more sad, and the fewer crying themselves to sleep every night from homesickness. America is still segregated. The East West Center opens at the University of Hawaii in Manawa. Daniel Inouye, Iron Fong, and Orrin Long are Hawaii's first elected congressional members. The first birth control bill of our peers on the market. And Elvis Presley returns home from Germany to screening teenage girls after being on military duty. Now, in the world of sophomoric fashions in the Pacific, the Drake pants, unfortunately, still reign, while the new school and Sandra B. Bob Taylor begin to appear among the more wild and worldly. And although returning to school a bit wiser and cleverer, in ducking the shrewd eyes of senators who monitored our every move in the dormitories, many sophomores still hadn't mastered the wonderful escape skills. They would sneak out of bed at lights out, hide in their closets, put on their flashlights, and savor good old standbys of fine Hawaiian cuisine. Back on the 
Kansas City, Kansas. Remember those gals with the charges eating after lights out? Well, the boys were also prone to getting into a little hoo-hoo in the dormitory as well. Well, some boys anyway. Stories abound about certain boys sneaking out of the dorm at night to go whole ho ho and wipey key, or lighting up in the bathroom. <laughs> Under the piercing eyes of senators, these flagrant perpetrators of high crimes were given charges. All about the Senate court, found guilty and charged, and sent to hard labor. Ah, you're something, Shagan. <laughs>
of the USA, nor even a mayor of Tinkertown. But we can claim what no other class in Hawaii can. Ladies and gentlemen, the very first Miss Cable. <laughs>
Kaki Solo, Papa Kawaii. Nathan Yoshio from uh, MOA. Wendell Fu Kano Kona Hawaii. Jane Yamamoto Tsukamoto from Old Wife Pahu. And Grace Sasaki from Kaioki. Delighted to see you. <laughs> -A see you in 50 years. M O U S E. And of course, our newspaper. Seventy years. 